Ending weeks of pre-budget speculation, recent government announcements detailing its plans to tax the superannuation funds of Australia's wealthiest citizens has raised major concerns. The government will try to secure its future by jeopardising your future, but the Prime Minister will try to buy her future by raiding your superannuation savings. We will always take the right decisions to nurture superannuation, to get working people a decent retirement and to ensure the system is sustainable. The government plans to tax the superannuation funds of people who earn more than $100,000 from their retirement funds. Do you think that that's fair and reasonable? It's not just $100,000 total, but it's $100,000 per annum. So yes, I think it is fair and reasonable that it should be taxed. Oh, I wouldn't think that was fair, no. I think if people have paid tax all through their lives on those monies, then that money should be tax-free at that stage, regardless of how much they've put in. The details aren't very clear to me, so I'd, uh, yeah, until I've got all the details in front of me, I wouldn't be able to comment on whether it's fair or not. As with a lot of these things, the devil is in the detail, and we just don't have a lot of that that uh, uh, detail at this point in time, and that's what's causing the uh, concern. It's the uncertainty and lack of clarity. Superannuation is a, uh, a long-term thing and when people are making plans today for the long term what they need more than anything else is clarity and certainty. Now what uh, the government has done um, has really raised the spectre of, of ongoing tinkering and change to the system which removes that clarity and it removes that certainty. I think uh, the government constantly changing it is unfair. I think that people spend their uh, time working and uh, to put the money away for superannuation and they want to have some sort of guarantee that what they're putting away they're going to be able to have for the future. Just, just no faith in the government system because people just don't know where they stand. One minute you get tax deductions, next minute you don't and then, then they extend the maturity age. You know, one minute it's 55, next minute you're going to be 60 and you know, if people live longer, who knows, you might not get it till you're 80. I, I, yeah, I don't trust them so I don't put in any, any more money than what I have to because of that very reason. In an, the announcement that the government made, they were talking about how the proposed changes are likely to only affect a small percentage of people, you know, those with uh, superannuation um, funds in excess of about $2 million. Um, that is true based on the very big assumption that those investments are generating a rate of return of 5%. Our members who are share market focused are actually targeting returns far in excess of that. Our members looking to achieve at least a 15% compound return over the longer term, which means that superannuation balances well below that touted $2 million threshold are actually going to be impacted. And, and potentially, if you've got a $500,000 super fund, which isn't huge, uh, and you happen to get a 20% return one year because the market's been very kind, you've now got to pay tax on all of that. I think a lot of other people have accumulated those savings and are getting generated returns, and, and therefore they've got more dividends and so on going into their super, and I think that's unfair if they've started ages ago to be able to have to um, be taxed so much, you know? For me, myself, personally, I, I just treat superannuation as a backstop. I'd, I'd rather handle my own investments outside of super? I think in the sense of superannuation, I'm sure they have studied it and to tax higher for the richer probably a good thing. What the government has actually announced is far from disastrous and there was certainly some potential for it to be far worse than what it's turned out to be. Nevertheless, uh, it, it has created this uncertainty. Any changes that are legislated and made, we would hope that they um, uh, are left alone and not continually tinkered with, you know, that some, in, in a way that's more aligned with the political cycle as opposed to the long t longer term investment cycle. Treasurer Wayne Swan believes this tax adjustment will make it fairer and stronger for the Australian economy and is above politics. However, expected to add $1 billion to the budget bottom line effectively makes these super fund tax amendments an election policy. One hopes that the interest at heart here is that of the financial integrity of this nation. I'm Melissa Gurney for Undercurrent.